Today we're going to look at configuring Cisco routers for static network address translation. This is important when you have a situation where you have an internal IP address that needs to be mapped to an external IP address. So you set up a server on your inside that has an IP address and you want that server to be available on the outside and you want people to be able to get to it and it's really kind of important to have a translation in place. So let's take a look at this. I have a Cisco router right here and I'm going to get into privilege mode and then show the running configuration. So my machine here has two interfaces, Fast Ethernet 00 and Fast Ethernet 01. We're going to assume that Fast Ethernet 00 is on the outside and Fast Ethernet 01 is on the inside. And we're also going to assume that our internal machine has an IP address of 192.168.0.2. So maybe it's a web server or FTP server. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it was a mail server. We just want it to be on the inside. Okay, so now we need to first mark the interfaces. So 00 is going to be on the outside and 01 is on the inside. I need to go mark them. So we'll do that. And FA 0 slash 0. And this one is on the outside, so I do IP NAT outside. And then I'm going to FA 0 slash 1. And this is IP NAT on the inside. All right. So they are now marked properly. <clears throat> the next step is to set up the NAT. So I can do IP NAT. And you can see your options here. Um, the inside is going to be a source address and it's going to be static. static. And we wanted the inside IP address. So the inside IP address is 192.168.0.2. We wanted to NAT it on the outside as 172.16.0.2. All right. Our IP address is 172.16.0.2. And now we have it all ready to go. There we have our NAT. It's really kind of simple when you do static NAT. You'd also probably want to configure things like PAT for other devices, so your port address translation, or you might want to create a dynamic pool in some situations. But this will allow our inside IP address to be mapped to an external IP address. And there you have it.